Hi and welcome to the Bookkeepers podcast. I'm Zoe Whitman and today I'm joined by Kevin Lord from Free Agent. Kevin is the Head of Practice Enablement and we thought we'd have a chat today about tech and how bookkeepers can get their clients to use tech and uh, really the best way to get started. So Kev, how are you doing? Nice to see you. Yeah, very well. Thanks, Zoe. I'm a, a long-time listener, first-time caller, Rich, so I'm, I'm very honoured to be on and, and, and very touched that you've invited me. So uh, looking forward to today and, uh, and and giving my pearls of wisdom, if you want to call it that. Oh, brilliant. Well, thanks for taking the time for us. Um, you've had an amazing couple of weeks, really, as free agent, haven't you? You've won a load of awards. Do you want to tell us a bit about what's been going on? Yeah, so uh, we were just speaking off air. I I, I, I took a, a rare week's holiday uh, last week and, and came back to us winning five awards last week alone. So it, it started off during uh, Global Bookkeeper Week, uh, of course, and we uh, we won the, the friendliest software of, of the year at the Luca Awards for the second year running. Um, quite like that award, actually, because it, it just means that the bookkeepers really uh, appreciate the relationship that we have with the whole business at Free Agent. So whether that be the account managers or our uh, marketing team or even the product, we, we're really uh, keen to get bookkeepers involved in giving us feedback about the product. So yeah, we, re we really like getting that one. It, it means our relationship with the bookkeepers are, are there. Uh, last week, uh, we won three awards at the Account Excellence Award. So um, uh, software for small business. Uh, which is great. I think that's three out of four years we've won that. We won the Practitioners Award, which uh, was kind of surprising. Not not surprising, but wow, you know, we, we were absolutely chuffed to bits about that. And then the third one was uh, our mobile app uh, picked up an award for uh, data collection, which we bet some pretty big players in that, some dedicated software there. So that's testament to our, our mobile team. Uh, I am biased, of course. I think we've got a fantastic mobile app. Um, so it's great to win that and and i'm sure we'll, we'll talk about getting clients onto tech what a fantastic way to start you know everyone lives on their mobile phone at the minute so yeah um three awards at account excellence and it just to round it off um we won uh two women in tech awards as well so m more of an internal award for for our culture at free agent but um yeah women in tech award first time we've entered those but we've won two awards there as well so yeah really really good a real pat on the back give everyone's chuffed the bits in the office it's it's great or their virtual office shall I say oh it's amazing and um because I I kind of think of free agent as like the lesser known software maybe that's maybe not fair but um I know that since the um you guys were acquired by mm -hmm. NatWest RBS group <laughs> but I guess things have changed a bit and that's maybe accelerated things do you think or um do you know what we're we're actually thirteen years old this year? No way. Um, so yeah, so when you go to to events and and people mm. still ask who you are, or 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 whatever, you know, it's, I don't want to say it's a kick in the teeth, but mm. we are still seen as new boys on the block. Whereas we we, uh, if you think about the iPhone, is also thirteen years old. So we were actually created the same time as the iPhone. So yeah, we, we've been doing this a, a, an awful long time, and and and. Perhaps in, in, in the bookkeeper or, or practice arena, um, we've very much been seen as an end user tool, I, I would think, uh, mm -hmm. and very focused on small micro businesses. Um, how we are designed, uh, our, our co founders, Ed Rowan and Ollie, you know, they're still in the business, they designed Free Agent for themselves. Mm -hmm. um, so we've very much been seen as an, an end user tool, I would think. Our partner channel has been going for six or seven years. But yeah, you're quite right. Uh, NatWest Group acquired us three years ago. Um, and I suppose because of that, more and more people are using us and, and more and more accountants and bookkeepers are, are aware of us. But yeah, yeah, 13 years old, you know. Um, wow. I feel really bad now because I feel like I've just really offended you and the free agent team. <laughs> uh, it, it's a common thing. And, and do you know what? Um, j just on that, in the last... Uh, I would say three, or two, two or three months. We we ran a, a huge awareness campaign, mm -hmm. uh, targeting uh, accountants and bookkeepers. That, that that and it's more or less the first time we've done that. To be honest, mm -hmm. so uh, it's okay. I, I won't take it too much to heart. I think we were <laughs> aware internally that our awareness was probably not where it should be for a company uh, making winning all these awards, for example. Um, so we addressed that. We, we ran a, a, a rather large uh, awareness campaign. Uh, for the last six weeks or so 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 don't mind we, we, we were aware of turn uh, internally as well i think to be honest like 
uh, the bookkeepers in our group will know free agent and the point that you made about it being targeted at end users is really interesting one because um I, the first time I came across Free Agent, it was because a freelance graphic designer was using Free Agent and she said, oh, this is great. I can submit my tax return straight through this. I don't have to log on to HMRC's website or anything. And she showed me, but she wanted me to check that her bookkeeping was right. And um, and I think that there is, you know, it really is focused at those kind of small businesses. And actually what we're talking about today is enabling, uh, getting people using software and if, you're, if you've got something that really talks to those kind of people who are unlikely to want to use anything, that's, you know, that's exactly the place, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I, I think, again, going back to our foundations, why we were born, um, Ed, Rowan and Ollie didn't like spreadsheets. They, they were just too complicated or, or easy to make mistakes. Now, th these guys are, you know, uh, Rowan, for example, is a doctor in computer science. You know, they're, they're not silly, silly guys. Um but it, it, it was just complicated. So even if you look at the language that we use in free agent in the banking section, we don't use credit and debit. We use money in, money out. And banking world, credit and debit means the complete opposite in the accountants world. So we try and use layman's terms as much as we possibly can. Our user interface and, and our graphics are, are, are probably more user friendly than, than other people on the market because we were just really dedicated for these small guys who perhaps don't have that that knowledge or, or want to know uh, about the, the the technical side of, of, of accounting and bookkeeping. Um, your your previous client there uh, that, that was talking about, this is great, I can submit my VAT return. We've been making VAT submissions for, for about 10, 11 years. So when Making Tax Digital came on, it was nothing new to us. But what we are seeing is, yes, this functionality is there, but people still always want that help in hand from their bookkeeper or accountant to make sure that, that the numbers are right. Um, you know, we're just about to release CT600 and FRS 105 submissions next year, but we're seeing that as a as a bookkeeping tool, not or, or, or accountants tool, not not an end user. So, yeah, um, don't don't worry exactly what you were saying. This this contractor freelancer was our bread and butter. Um, yeah. I think since we've been acquired by the bank, the, the breadth of clients that are using us now has has changed, not so much contractor, freelancer. Think of dog walkers, hairdressers, uh, mm -hmm. tradesmen. Um, but the functionality remains the same. Try and be as easy as possible to use. Take take the sort of language out of it and, and make the functionality as easy as possible. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. So let's think about those clients then who are on spreadsheets. And I think I had a really interesting chat with a bookkeeper last night, actually. And she said to me, very wise, she said, look, if I haven't got a client, I haven't got a business. I don't want to spend my money on anything if I can help it. I want to do everything for free. And I think a lot of business owners are like that as well. So they're like, if I can do this in a spreadsheet, why am I going to invest my money invest my time in working out how to use some software when I know how yeah. to use a spreadsheet. So what do we do about those kind of reluctant clients, but also reluctant bookkeepers? Um, I know that free agent can be available for free, um, yeah. but how, what can we do to get those people to embrace software? Um, so, so taking the free agent for free uh, solution first, you know, that uh, it's free for NatWest group clients. So if, if they're banking with NatWest, uh, RBS, Metal, which is our new challenger bank, and Ulster, they get a copy of Free Agent uh, completely free. Um, so, so that that that's where that comes in. And if they're worried about cost, then it's just included in in their business banking. And then there's no things grayed out or functionality missing. It's it, it, it's the full shooting match. It's free for the, the the bookkeeper as well. So, so so that that that's that element. I think when, if they don't bank with those banks, um, then of course there's a there's a monthly cost like like all software. And so how do you go about justifying that? I completely understand the you know this is spreadsheets and and why why should I pay? Um we're not talking about hundreds and hundreds of pounds a month here. We're we're perhaps talking a tenner. Fifteen pound at absolute most, which is three pints of beer. That that well, Edinburgh prices anyway. Three pints pints of beer um, before lockdown as well. Can't remember last time I had a pint, but um, to really bring a lot of efficiencies home into your practice or or into your business as well. So uh, take 
January's coming up. Great example, self-assessment time. Um, so think about the bookkeepers just now, how much hassle that they're going to put their clients through. Where's your bank statements? Where's your expenses? Uh, can I talk them up? So, you know, if, if we can save you five, 10 minutes per client, purely by just setting up a bank feed, which we don't charge for, then what impact will that have in your business? You know, if, if you've got 10, 20 clients uh, and, and we're saving you five, 10 minutes a week per client, you know, that, that's an awful lot of time. And if you bill for that time, then actually you're going to get that 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 money back. Um, it gives you time to come on fantastic courses like, like yourself and Joe run, uh, which perhaps you might not have that hour a week, two hours a week to, to do. Uh, so it, lets you attract uh, clients as well from your client's point of view the, the functionality that's certainly in free agent but zero quickbooks as well i'll just take invoicing uh, uh, as an example no one likes credit control no one likes um, chasing customers for money but the amount of invoices that go unpaid are crazy crazily uh, uh, i used to work in financial lending so i, I got a true understanding of how much Invoices just don't get paid on time. It really scared me uh, because I try and pay my bills on time. But if, if you put that back, you know, use free agent invoicing, for example, we'll automatically chase invoices on your behalf and our stats show that you get paid 70% more likely on time, which then translates into less reliance on overdrafts, less interest being paid to the bank. So actually, oh, free agent might cost you £15 a month, but you might be saving 20 30 40 pounds a month on interest or, or, or bank lending. Same time, you could be working yeah. with your accountant on the figures in real time um, who they can give you proactive advice rather than getting all your information once a year and saying, you know what, Zoe, here's what you could have done. What you can now do is, Kevin, this is what you can do. Um, so, yes, it, it is an outlay. But I would say it's it's an investment rather than an expense. You know, it, it, it it's paying fifteen pound to perhaps get hundreds back. Um, so yeah, that that's what I would say. If I can be so blunt, and I know yeah. you want to ask me a question, so if I can be so blunt, that that's the sort of carrot. There's also the stick element. You know, that this is the way life's going. Um, whether you like it or not, um, MTDs coming in. People are going to be forced onto digital platforms sooner rather than later. Um, I done a presentation at the Bookkeeper Summit last year about how many mobile apps it, I used to get to London uh, from Edinburgh, and I used twenty five apps, whether that be banking apps, my bus ticket, my my flight, Uber, Apple Pay. So the business owners are using technology anyway. So why shouldn't they be using technology for, for their business um, or accounting side of things as well? So, yeah, uh, I know that was a very long-winded answer. No, no, I understand. And I, and I think like that, that if that stick doesn't work, it's, you know, knowing that there is going to be, when you've got these sort of pain point conversations, when people are saying, look, people aren't paying me or um, I don't know what's going, I don't know what I need to do for my tax return. This is when you can say, look, actually, I can make this a lot easier for you if you start using some software. I, I think absolutely. I think knowing your clients, first of all, knowing what their, what their goals are, what their desires are, what how they want to live. Um, you can then pick on their pain points, exactly like you're saying. So... Uh, January, I mean, self-assessment, great. You're going to contact all your clients and say, where's your receipts? And they're going to be scrambling about and staying up late and they're probably ignored emails uh, that you've sent them in the past. Actually, use Free Agent Mobile app. Not only is it award-winning, but you can just take photos on your, on the go and you don't have to worry about that. Your, your bookkeeper will see all this information and that's just a, 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 a real pain point out the way, a, a real um, mental anguish out, out, out the way for these people. Like you're saying, what perfect example that you used there uh, about tax, how much tax am I going to be due and when? That That is the sole reason free agent exists. Uh, Ed, Rowan and Ollie didn't know when their, when their tax was due and their accountant couldn't tell them. So that's why they created free agent. So yeah, it's all these sort of pain points. What are the pain points? and get the software to, to, to solve that pain point. Cool. Um, I know you mentioned your YCB uh, talk, and you. Um, I know that you did something this year about tech being your sort of superpower or uh, being a, I don't know, 
I've written superhero, but I think you, uh, superpower is probably what you're saying. What about other tech? Like, how can bookkeepers use that as well to support their? Yeah, I, 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 I think uh, the, the superheroes, without a doubt, are the bookkeepers and 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 accountants and and in practice, they they are the superheroes. I, I, I think my my talk this year was, you know, let 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 software be your superhero cape or your outfit or, or things like that. Um, I think I think this pandemic, this Kenora virus situation that that we're in just now really showed business owners how reliant they were on on their bookkeepers to to go for for a whole range of, of information or, or help and support, not just bookkeeping support. So I, I put a poll out on LinkedIn asking people, you know, what's what's common questions you, you, you get asked on a, on a daily basis? And I would say about 60, 70 percent of them had nothing to do with bookkeeping. It was just, you know, how do I have this difficult conversation? How do I use social media? What lending do I need? Uh, how can I save up to let my son go to university? That kind of thing. And and to me, that's why the bookkeepers becoming the superhero to their clients. They're 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 their lifeline. They're always there. But if you're busy doing the mundane tasks of chasing bank statements or waiting for receipts or waiting for invoices, then you've not got the time to service these 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 questions that you're being asked. So to me, technology is there for efficiencies and time saving and, and cost saving. So take the bookkeeping out of it completely. Take take free agent out out the equation totally. One one I love talking about is a is, is a, an appointment tool, Calendly or appointed. Um you you're phoning your client for something, you leave a voicemail. They phone you back, you're busy, they leave a voicemail. And you keep doing that and you eventually talk to your client and say, right, fantastic, Mr. Jones what was your sales records last year? Well, I don't have that to hand. I'm in the van. Okay, and then there's another game of uh, telephone tennis, I call it. Now, if you've got an appointed tool, you send that client an email or a text and say, really need to talk to you about this. Book a time where we're both available. When you phone, I'm ready. I've got all the stats that I need. And although it's not, you know, it's not massive amounts of time, it's maybe a minute or so. But again, if you've got 10, 20 clients, and that's happening every single day. That's just saving you time and and effort and mental space again to just do your job. You know, the, the, this is not the technical aspects of being a bookkeeper at all. This is just the silly mundane stuff that stops you being that superhero or perhaps distracts you doing the other things. So yeah, it's not all about bookkeeping software. It's about all the other tech that's out there. Be, being a business owner, to be honest, and I, and I think that's a lot of accountants and bookkeepers forget that they 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 are so engrossed in helping their clients and that is a beautiful attitude to have, but you've got a business to run as well. And, and, and you are business owners yourself. And I think that's what they forget about and take the advice that you give your clients and, and impose it on yourself as well. So yeah, tech, tech's there to help you run your business. I completely agree. And the point about calendar bookings, like it's easy to manage when you've got one or two clients, it's really easy to get a meeting booked in, isn't it? But when you've got like, 20 50 people to manage it's much easier if you just let them find an automa automated yeah, and, way and, to do you know, that calendly yes you can pay for it but the, the free option is is perfectly good you know i i personally was using yeah. the free option for years until i thought hang on i you know i i now need to get my team doing that and then i started paying some money on it but yeah i mean this pandemic again you know zoom google meet that that kind of thing there are there are free options there that work perfectly good. So saving you that 20 minutes traveling to, to your um, client's office or, or whatever you do, can you do it in 10 minutes over Zoom? You know, attitudes have changed quite a lot because of this. But yeah, we're not talking about, you know, bookkeeping software or, or accountancy software. You know, even just the business software is, is out there to help. Absolutely. Yeah, I think um, like being able to save the time on the things that then free you up to do what you're, you're in business to do makes a lot of sense. Like adding a, we've got like, a, I've got a booking link in my signature. That just makes it easy because people can just book a time when it works Absolutely. for them. Um, and, and, and what I would say there is like use it, uh, the amount of people that I've said, listen, can, can we get a call? And they've not, they've not 
played then email tennis or telephone tennis with me. They've just sent an email back and say, here's my calendar link or, or here's my booking link. It's up to you to book my time. Um, so, yeah, it's it, it's don't underestimate the sort of two, three minutes per client that, that can be saved because that all adds up to A, running your business, growing your business, or even just taking time off to, to spend with, with your family or, or anything like that. Yeah, um, so I think one of the problems that people have is there is a lot of, there's a lot of stuff that we can invest time in working on. And we were, we were talking about time saving and efficiency, but it's really easy to see, like, to kind of get distracted by so many new amazing things that can save our time, but they all take a bit of setting up. They all cost a couple of quid a month. Yeah. How do you decide what to prioritise? So th this sounds really sort of backwards, what I'm about to say because we're talking about tech and we're talking about doing things online and, and whatever. My recommendation to everyone doing this is actually sit down and write out what you actually do. Get a big pile of post-it notes, multicolor post-it notes is even better, and write down everything, absolutely everything that you do from answering the phone to opening the mail to going to the post office to whatever to what it takes to do a VAT return to what it does to do a, a set of accounts or whatever, write them out in post-it notes and stick them up on the wall. And then you'll start to find patterns of what you're doing. So like you're saying, there, there's software for everything, absolutely everything. And if you go out and get everything, it's not going to match the processes that you do as a business. So work out your own business processes first. Work out what your clients do or, or what how you want to work with your clients and then get the software to match. Don't go out and just go, oh, I'll go and get a calendar tool. Well, that's fine, if, but what if you never make a phone call? You know, you've got something that you don't need or you go out and, and, and get free agent, but you only actually work with hotel chains and bars that free agent's not very good for. So... Work out who your clients are, but more importantly, just work out every process that you do as a business or as a bookkeeper. Write them on post-it notes, stick them on the wall, look at your processes, and then anything that you do repeatedly, that's a, that's always a good place to start, and then you can get the solution to, to fix that process. So, yeah, we're talking about digital and tech. Best thing to do is sit down with a pile of post-it notes and write down what you do. Amazing. I'm going to get all my post-it notes out this afternoon. That's <laughs> my rest of my day sorted out. Do you want to tell us about um, the free agent app? Because we sort of touched on it early on, and I, um, I, f I think it'd be really cool to hear about what it can do, because uh, I haven't used it. The mobile app. So yeah. so the mobile app, um, we've always had it, to be honest, and it, it comes with our package. So there, there's, I mean, there, there's no cost to it at all. Same logon details that, you, that your clients would use. And actually, over the last 12 to 18 months, you, I think you can do something like 80, 90 percent of what you can do in the full app um, on, on, on the mobile app. So we were talking about reluctant sort of clients. Uh, they are, you know, we can take photographs of receipts and uh reconcile them to to bank transactions or expenses or, or invoices this week we just released capture for later which means you don't have to do it live you can just take a photograph and it saves in free agent automatically and you can go and do the work later um track time send invoices um basically, basically 80 90 percent you can get your tax timeline uh there uh, one of one of the unique things about probably our relationship with the banks, Zoe, to be honest with you, but um, our approach to banking, uh, how, how that's quite different. All our open bank feeds are are included, but you can now create an open bank feed and reconsent an open bank feed using your mobile app. So we'll send you push notifications to say your bank feed needs re-verified, click here to, to re-verify, all done on the mobile app. So actually what we're seeing is clients of accountants and bookkeepers the proportion of mobile use is actually higher than just our direct users. Um, and the reason being, the bookkeepers are just saying, guys, just go and take photographs of receipts uh, and track your time or and, and do your banking through through the mobile and we'll do the rest in the background. Um, the only things you can't really do uh, on the mobile app is submit VAT returns or, or self-assessments or, or final accounts. Uh, yes, you can view them, but that that's... Being brutally honest, that's the only thing you can't do in the mobile app. Um, 
So yeah, the mobile team have done a, a fantastic job. Uh, I, I think it's great. I, I talk about it all the time, but uh, it, it's good to finally get the recognition of it. So yeah, really powerful tool. Um, just sort of speaking about why um, bookkeepers should get their clients to do it. Our insights are, we, we give practice insights to our clients. And if you get your client to use the mobile app, actually the amount of work you need to do in the background is actually reduced because they're taking photographs of receipts, because they're explaining bank transactions. So it's also saving you time because your clients are more engaged in the software. They're doing it as they go rather than every Sunday night or, or whatever. So yeah, really proud of the mobile app. I think it, I think it's fantastic. Now I'm really happy for the team getting the recognition finally as well. Yeah, and I, I think actually like a lot of clients do want a lot of everyone wants to do everything on your their phone, just yeah. like you said. You were you, on a journey, you'd be using an app for everything. So why wouldn't you use an app? And I think the things people need to do day to day are timekeeping, invoicing, bank rec, perhaps taking photos of receipts and things. And being able to do that is probably the way in to, to if you can sit with a client and say, Hey, look, I can show you this on your app. You can do this. That's yeah, what you need to do. And, you don't and, need to and, have some software like exactly. if they don't want to use the computer they don't have to exactly and, and we find that a lot you know like one of our barriers is oh my, my, my clients aren't they don't use computers or the or, or they're not tech savvy i'm a bit i'm a bit dubious about that to be honest and, and i'm a bit sort of yeah right you know my my dad who you know, I know, I know we're sharing this on social media, so he might listen to this. But, you know, it terrifies me. But my dad's on Facebook and um, he is the most illiterate person, computer illiterate person that I, I, I know. So if you can send an email or if you can use Facebook, you know, you, you can use our app. But start small. Just get them to take photographs of receipts. Don't get the invoice and don't do the trick. Just take the photographs of receipts. That will save you incredible amounts of time as a bookkeeper, but then they'll start getting used to how it looks and then they'll go, oh, it does invoicing. Oh, I can track my time. Oh, I can yeah. do banking. So you don't need to go two feet first. You know, you yeah. can actually just um, do things at a, at a gradual pace, um, which is all, 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 always helpful with the people that are reluctant. Yeah, amazing. I think that's well. I I know. Like, I feel more confident to go and sit with people and say, "Hey, look, I can actually show you this." And yep. you know, that is it, isn't it? That's the way in. Just one small step, and then get them comfortable with it, and then introduce something else. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for coming on to talk to us. Um, Kev, do you want to oh. tell us a bit about where people can connect with you, how they can find out more about Free Agent? Uh, if you want to connect with me, I'm I'm on LinkedIn. Uh, just search Kevin Lord Free Agent. I'll, I'll probably come up. I'm I'm usually pretty active on that. For Free Agent, uh, specifically freeagent.com uh, is there. There's a section specifically for bookkeepers uh, on there. Um, you'll you'll find out loads about our features and 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 upcoming events that that, that we've got. Um, it's completely free for for bookkeepers to to try out. We don't sort of commit to to any sort of contract or anything like that. Our, our pricing is a bit different to other software. They are if you, if you don't have any clients, then fine. If you have, only have one, you only have one. Um, so yeah, go to freeagent dot com. Uh, we'll come to the bookkeeper section there, and and you'll find out how we can help and support you. Perfect. Thank you. Um, and the best way for you to connect with us, if you haven't already, is to come and join us on Facebook in the Six Figure Bookkeepers Club. And we'll see you next week for another podcast. Thanks so much, Kevin. No Take problem. Care. Thanks, Ray. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.